Hi Cancer, this is your August monthly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this monthly reading. In the first spread we'll be looking at new love coming towards you. In the second spread we'll check in with those of you who are already married or in a relationship. Then I'll do the X spread after that. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances. And at the end we'll get you an advice for the whole month of August. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love uh, this month. We have the High Priestess, clarified by the Page of Pentacles. We have Justice. We have uh, the Will of Fortune, clarified by the Empress. In the potential outcome, we have uh, the King of Wands with the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups. And uh, we have the high, uh, the higher front <laughs> on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, a Fire Sign, the Aries, the Aries, Sagittarius. We also have Libra and uh, Taurus on the table. This is one interesting spread, one interesting reading, Cancer. A mysterious, a secretive, even even secretive uh, reading. Okay, um, so the first three cards that came out were all major arcana cards, right? Uh, the High Priestess, Justice, and the Wheel of Fortune. The Empress, I find the, um, the Wheel of Fortune is also a major arcana card. The three cards in the potential outcome are all minor arcana cards. <laughs> And uh, that's where we actually see this King of Wands, the first card in the potential outcome, right? So the, I believe that would be the person. And uh, it could be a fire sign, there is Leo Sagittarius, or somebody with a lot of fire in their charts. If they're not a fire sign, they could be like a leader, somebody who is easy to get up and go, um, that type of a personality, okay? Um, yeah, um, the High Priestess, the first card that came out. Uh, since we already have a court card in here, the King of Wands. The High Priestess is either a card of intuition or it could be a card of uh, secret. Okay, a secret. Together with the Page of Pentacles and the Empress, I'm just going to throw it out there. I can't say it's not going to play out for all of you, but it could be, some of you could be uh, getting pregnant. And uh, it's like a, and that's why you're getting married. Okay, I'm just being honest. It, it's one of the scenarios. It's not going to play out for all of you, but it's definitely one of the scenarios, right? The Page of Pentacles could be a child, the Empress, uh, clarifying the Will of Fortune, uh, could be a mother figure, a child, mother, secret, and you put the, all of this together. All right, Justice could be a wedding, okay? The Hierophant on the bottom of the deck could also be a wedding, all right? If there is no pregnancy involved, then uh, it's still, it could be like a blind date, Okay, for, you know, I even thought of it could be like a secret of initiation. Perhaps some of you are going to go to school and uh, you're going to get accepted into like a sorority or what have you. <laughs> and uh, you will meet this person through that somehow, right? But uh, yeah, the High Priestess, it could be, again, intuition, secret blind date, secret date. Perhaps you're meeting, you're dating this person, but you're keeping it under wraps for whatever reason. Okay, for whatever reason you're doing it just for now. Justice could be a Libra you're dealing with, but justice is, uh, like I said earlier, could be a card of uh, people getting married, right? So it could be like a secret wedding or something like that. Um, it could be an invitation to a secret wedding, right? And that's where you'll meet this person or the person inviting you. Uh, could be the one. I know it sounds kind of weird, but the three major, four major arcana cards in the beginning. It, it's just something big, something major. All right, so please uh, stay tuned here. Um, the Will of Fortune is a start of a cycle, or uh, it's a card of actually going somewhere, right? But going back to the Justice card, it could be a, an actual place where people get married. All right, for some of you, perhaps both of you work for the government or you work for like a financial institution and uh, the company policy doesn't allow for co-workers, for colleagues to date and perhaps that's why you're keeping it under wraps for now, okay? Um, but yeah, the Empress, like I already said, um, could be a card of somebody who is expecting a baby, but at the same time, perhaps this is the way this person sees you from the very beginning, right? They see you as somebody they, they could have children with in the future. They, the Empress is also a card of a significant other figure, a wife figure or spouse figure, right? So perhaps this person from the very beginning, perhaps their intuition or your intuition is telling you that this is the one, this is somebody you could marry. This is the one you, with whom you could have children in the future, right? The High Priestess is that deep knowing, intuition, 
All right. And uh, going back to the potential outcome, yeah, we got that king of ones with the ace of cups and the two of cups. Yeah, love, lots of it. The ace of cups is genuine, authentic love, overwhelming love for some of you. The two of cups right next to the deck is a soulmate card. It's a card of unconditional love. It's a card of um, two people feeling the same way towards one another. The hierophant, again, could be a Taurus here, you know, but the hierophant is a card of education, right? <laughs> Sorority, remember that? Uh, for others of you, it's simply a waiting, right? The, the hierophant is a card of a waiting or commitment or marriage, right? It's also a very spiritual card, educational card, right? Yeah, one interesting reading, Cancer. Um, you can leave me a comment, let me know how this plays out for you, but uh, there, there's definitely a mystery here. Hopefully we'll just solve it. Uh, you got this king of wands. This could be the one whom you could be spending the rest of your life with. Really happy for you. Congratulations. Cancer, if you are already married, or if you're in a relationship, the spread is for you. Uh, we have uh, the Chariot, the Four of Wands, the Hierophant, and the Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Well, you got some kind of a new, passionate, exciting beginning. <laughs> all right. Yeah, that's pretty much what, what, the, what it is, all right? Um, the first card I came out is the Chariot, which is your major arcana card, uh, Cancer. Perhaps you're the one who is initiating this, all right? Because uh, it's always a good sign to have your own major arcana card in your own reading, especially if it's the very first card that comes out. That means you're definitely large and in charge. You're definitely... Uh, your opinion matters, and <laughs> it could be you who is initiating this. Um, the Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck is what's going to happen. The Ace of Wands uh, is a passionate new beginning. And uh, you could be passionate about anything. Whatever makes you tick, all right? Passionate new beginning, right? You could be picking up a new hobby. You could be starting something brand new. You could be starting your own business or you could be starting a business together. I don't know. You could be joining a gym, joining some kind of other club, what have you. Um, the, and then we also have the four of ones and the hierophant, you know, two commitment or marriage cards, two. So all of this is happening within your uh, existing relationship or marriage, obviously. Okay, um, the hierophant could be a Taurus, you know, but the hierophant is a card of marriage commitment, and so is the four of ones. All right, the four, it could be someone's waiting, you could be going to someone else's wedding, it could be your waiting, right? Um, if you're still... Uh, dating, if you you could be taking it to the next level, by the way, right? Whatever that level is for you, you could be moving in together, you could be getting engaged, getting married, and I don't know. Uh, but yeah, uh, you will de it will definitely feel new, exciting, passionate, and uh, what have you. All right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for your cancer in August. Uh, keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent X. Also, keep in mind, uh, Venus will be retrograde throughout the whole month, and uh, Mercury will also go retrograde at some point in the second half of uh, August. This is when more Xs than usual could definitely resurface. <laughs> we have the Ace of Cups, the Star, the Lovers, and the Knight of cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, um, Gemini, a fellow water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Well, this looks good. This looks good, Cancer. The person coming back to you, they are in love with you, they're still in love with you, or perhaps this time apart made them realize just how much they you mean to them, just how much they're in love with you. <laughs> they're coming back with good loving intentions, like very loving intentions, all right? The Ace of Cups is all about love, um, could be renewed love, perhaps this person, you know, reconsidered their whole life or they reconsidered their approach, right? Because the Ace of Cups is fresh, fresh energy, right? And we also have the Knight, of, the Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck, could be a fellow water sign, Kansas Scorpio or Pisces. But the Knight of Cups is also all about love, you know? This Knight is often referred to as the Knight in the Shining Armor, Prince Charming. Uh, it's the most romantic Knight out of all four Knights, so do expect a very romantic gesture. At least one. <laughs> then we have the star. It could be an Aquarius here dealing with the star. is a card of a wish come true, and it's also a card of healing. Okay, perhaps this person's been wishing for the two of you to get back together, and now they're finally executing on that wish. The lovers right next to the deck could be a Gemini here dealing. The lovers is a card of a choice. Cancer, uh, you'll have a choice to make as to what you want to do about this. But at the same time, in my opinion, the lovers is uh, the best card when it comes to the actual love connection between two people, 
right? It's a card of a soulmate connection. It's a card of a twin flame connection. If you believe in twin flames, it could be the card of uh, someone who is the lover of your life. If you believe in twin flames, there's something called Ramek Chaser. I, you know, look it up. If you don't know what it is, look it up. So perhaps this cat and mouse game will finally be over. But again, this looks positive. Lots of love. Healing is here. The lover of your life card <laughs> is here. All, have all the ingredients for a very loving connection. All right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Cancer, this month. Uh, we have uh, the Nine of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, clarified by the Ten of Wands, the Queen of Wands, clarified by the Page of Cups, and we have the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Um, those two queens, it could be um, a couple of different things, a couple of different events, a couple of different people, a couple of different situations, or it could be one big thing. Um, for some of you, this Queen of Pentacles needs assistance, needs help, and uh, perhaps you will connect this uh, Queen of Pentacles with that Queen of Wands who can help them, who can assist them. You know, you're like the middleman or the middle woman, right? The connecting people. You're like a problem solver. <laughs> kind of reminds me of Pulp Fiction, where uh, I, I forget the character's name, Wolf or something like that. He is the problem solver. <laughs> I'm not saying it's going to be to that extent, but you get the idea, right? Perhaps you're just like you help people connect with one another. You're like a, a problem solver, right? For others of you, well, the Queen of Pentacles will definitely be in need of some kind of assistance, right? Because uh, the Queen of Pentacles is classified by the Ten of Wands. It's a card of a burden. It's a card of something that's tough on them. The Nine of Wands, the first card that came out, I think that also belongs to the Queen of Pentacles. This is a card of a wounded warrior, somebody who is uh, struggling. Something happened to them, all right? And uh, the Queen of Wands is classified by the Page of Cups. So I think you could connect those two queens, <laughs> those two people, and uh, see if they uh, can work it out. See if, uh, for others of you, perhaps you're going to be dealing with this Queen of Pentacles on your own, but then there's also going to be the Queen of Wands who wants to um, grab a bite with you, right? Because uh, the Queen of Wands is classified by the Page of Cups. It could be them just reaching out to you, um, seeing what you've been up to or wanting to reconnect with you. Uh, and have a conversation and whatever. The Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, it's a fantastic card to have when it comes to work, business, and finances. I think that's you. You know, this is a card of somebody who is self-sufficient, independent, somebody who is in the middle of it, in, in the center of attention, somebody who is doing good financially, you know. So, yeah, you'll, you'll basically have a lot of situations you're going to be dealing with. All right? Cool. Here's an advice or a word of wisdom for you, Cancer, for the whole month of August. Um, we have the Five uh, of Swords, uh, we have Temperance, we have the Wheel of Fortune, clarified by the Queen of Cups, and we also have the Magician on the bottom of the deck. Uh, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, a Gemini, Virgo, or pretty much any zodiac sign. Um, very specific message. Uh, cancer. If you recently broke up with somebody, or if you divorced with somebody, or if you lost a job, or you got into a major fight with somebody, the type. Of, if you ju if you're no longer uh, in on good standing with somebody, it's time to heal and move on. Okay, that's the advice. All right. So let's talk about this real quick. Uh, the Five of Swords, the first card that came out, so I think this is what happened already, or about to happen. This is a card of uh, like an ugly fight. This is a card of uh, severing ties, cutting the cord, slamming the door on the way out. All right. Then we have Temperance. Temperance could be a Sagittarius, you know, but Temperance is a card of healing. Okay, so perhaps you've been healing from this, or this is the first part of the advice. All right, time to heal. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is a card of starting a new cycle, basically moving on, moving on with your life, right? The Queen of Cups, clarifying the Wheel of Fortune, that's you. That's you who is moving on, right? And uh, the Magician on the bottom of the deck could be um, a Gemini or Virgo you're dealing with, but the Magician is a card of manifestation, manif manif so manifest something new, I think that would be the advice. And uh, take action. You've got all the tools you need at your disposal. The Magician does have all the tools. All right, so think of perhaps unconventional ways to start something, to move on. Think
Think of something you haven't done in the past, you haven't thought in the past, or perhaps you thought about it, but you thought, oh, I, will, I would never do this. Perhaps it's time for you to try that out. <laughs> All right, uh, Cancer, I hope that makes sense. Three major iconic cards, Temperance, the Little Fortune, and the Magician. You can make it. You can do it. The world is your oyster. Again, with the Magician, whatever you want or however you want it. All right, so, yep, that's what I have for you, Cancer, for this reading for this month. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Cancer, have an amazing August.